Now, let me make this clear. We did not start off the right foot, me mm -hmm. and her. No, we did not. <laughs> Actually, I just, from it. if I could, I would say that stay away from our process. How we started love was completely... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a word yeah. to describe it. Exactly. That That's, yeah. And we suffered a lot of consequences mm -hmm. because of the direction we took. But the reason why we do things and what you see presented on the internet is you know, i.e. my gorgeous Mrs. Chef, OPM, you know, cooking her heart out and demonstrating all this caretaking and curability and this, you know, woman, you know, bride-like nature. It, it, it came from the revelation of what love means to her, specifically by God um, eventually changing me. Me. I repeat, me. The reason why I'm saying these things are, um, in marriage, what I would advise people who are coming into is the ability to see beyond what you see. Mm. If, if you don't have the foresight to see beyond what is in front of you, specifically being able to set your minds on things above, if you look at what is happening in your circumstances at that very moment, you're going to blame your spouse. And if you look at more marriages, it's two people living in this blame-like atmosphere where pointing fingers is the order of the day. So it's as if apportioning blame solves the issue. And so far, name one blame apportion that ever solved any issue. I'll wait. Because just because I say, okay, it's my fault, doesn't make me change. Nor you say it's your fault, doesn't make it you makes change. Me vengeful. <laughs> I look for your problems yeah. in the future just to mm. let you know that, hey, You're doing yeah, the same thing. I messed up, but here you go. Mm. It took me on to understand the subset of love, which is the first unction of love, which is patience, to cause me to see the difference between long-sightedness and short-sightedness. Um, how your emotions can cause you to rage immediately based on a disapproval or an action of your spouse, and how you can see beyond the action of your spouse to realize how you can support them just so they can get closer to you, long-sightedness. And you can't have that with your human conception because you're not going to be allowed. Uh, selfishness will not give you the space to hold that ability. You can't mm -hmm. because you always think about, but she could have done mm -hmm. this better or he could have done this better. You. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another time maybe you speak about the brain. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to say to people is we need the person of the Holy Spirit. We need to have a long-sighted gain. We need to see the end at the beginning to realize that. What you guys see with my wife and what she does as Mrs. OPM is the long-sightedness that has happened. What you see with the wisdoms that I spew and how I speak is the long-sightedness of endurance that has now come to fruition. It did not come because she demanded or I demanded. It came because we knew who was the glue of this relationship and how we had to allow him to break the mold of our human personal individualism to create this bond of unity of oneness which causes love to be the only order because love is yeah. servitude and that's my advice i don't know what you're going through right now with your spouse i can tell, tell you one thing for sure start with the foundation of who god is to you through christ jesus and allow the spirit of god to begin to break you i know it's not fair at that point in your mind don't be short-sighted why can't he change him he should just change him if god changes him it's okay no god changes you to endure him God changes her to endure you first, to show you the strength of his ability. Then with that endurance, it causes him to see your value, something they have never seen before. That is what draws them back into it. And when the long side of the game is played, <laughs> he says, I can do all things through. Christ be strengthened. You'll be strengthened. And you will realize that indeed love covers and love never fails. But not the feelings love, the agape one. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Lo love never fails. Mrs. Opia. <laughs> She's my chef. If, She's amazing. If it's truly love, then it never fails because God is love and God doesn't fail.